Welcome in, guys. This is the lab presented by Champion Circle. As is tradition, make sure you head over to championcircleuofm.com to support your student athletes. One of those is the special Blake, the great Blake Corum, man. Excited to have you on. I, I had to make the comment, the scar looks good, bro. Do you wear it with pride? You look great. Hey, I appreciate it, baby. Yeah, this, this is going to last for a lifetime, but uh, I think that picture, the picture might be worth it, you know? Oh, that what do they say? Like a picture's worth a thousand words. I mean, that, <laughs> right. that's the ultimate warrior picture right there. Did you get that framed up yet? Uh I, I don't have it framed up in the crib, but they did just uh frame it up inside of Shim. Um it's on uh, one of the walls, and I think even uh Coach Harbaugh said he was gonna put it in his office, but uh yeah, yeah that, that one's gonna last forever. So uh, maybe maybe the person that I'm going to refer to here is watching this. But when I was in college, um, at once I broke like the career records for receptions and yards. So a Michigan fan drew a watercolor painting of like me posing in that game, mm. and it is the coolest gift to this day. Hand drawn everything. I'm going to try to find that fan for you to get that hand drawn picture because that hey, thing hey. is super dope, bro. Super if you dope. can find that fan, that'd, that'd be amazing. I, I would love to have one. Okay. All right. I'm going to reach out. <sighs> you can literally smell it in the air. You can <laughs> feel it in the air. I don't know. It's just there's a buzz about the game. It's the greatest rivalry in all the sports. There's a bunch of different angles I want to hit with you here. Let's just start with what you're wearing right there on your head, the Michigan versus everybody, because it's been a great thing. It's been a cool thing. I got I got a couple of shirts myself, but of course, it's taken on a different meaning. And then it takes on an even bigger meaning when it's Ohio State week. Can you help me understand? Help help everyone understand, you know, what does Michigan versus everybody mean during Ohio State week? Yeah, uh, during Ohio State week, it's huge because, you know, with with everything going on, it's, it's always been Michigan versus, you know, everybody. You know, we can we can set that straight. And if you don't have any Michigan versus everybody gear, I suggest uh, you go get you some. But uh, what does Michigan versus everybody mean? You know, Well, how could it be Michigan versus everybody if you didn't have the gear, right? It's a home <laughs> game this year. Hey, we need Not everyone. Wearing. We need everyone in the big house. If you're a Michigan fan, we need you to go to the M-Den and uh, get that Michigan versus everybody shirt. But, you know, for me, you know, for the team, you know, going into, you know, a house day week, what does Michigan versus everybody mean? It means literally what it says. Michigan and everyone inside Schenbeckler Hall, everyone that's a Michigan fan, it's all of us versus Ohio State and versus everyone who hates us, which there's a lot of haters. You know, so if you're not with us, you know, you're against us, you know, and I think, you know, that's just plain and simple. You know, I don't think there's a definition of exactly what it means. It's basically if you're not with us, you're against us. And we feel like, you know, we have a target on our back. And, you know, uh, going into the Ohio State game, most likely it will be number two versus number three. Someone has to win. Someone has to lose. And someone has to get kicked off, kicked out for the uh, CFP. So, um, you know, it's going to be a, a great game. Two great teams going at it, like always. And, uh, man, but I'm, I'm fired up for November 25th. I, I feel the intensity, man. I, I, I literally feel it. Um, what's it like? What's this week like? Uh, of course, you just mentioned it. Number two versus number three, most likely. We'll see where the college football playoff rankings land later or uh, early early in the week. But what, what's that like for this game? You know, what, what I – tell my teammates is basically the way we treat Bowling Green is the way we're going to treat Ohio State, but we're going to pick it up a notch. You know, if you watch eight hours of film, you know, those games, you know, watch 10, you know, but we're not going to change anything at all. You know, obviously the stakes are higher, you know, so there's going to be more maybe adrenaline going, you know, throughout the game. But when it comes to game planning, you know, I think we just need to keep everything the same. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how we're, as football players, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to treat every every team the same, prepare the same, you know, don't treat any team different, you know, go in there and play Michigan football, you know. So obviously, like I said, the stakes are going to be high, you know, two versus three, nothing gets bigger than that, you know. So, but we're, we're going to treat it the same way. You know, the funny thing is, is, is it's like, uh, well, you always go 100%. Like, yeah, Bowling yeah. Green, like, bro, of course you go 100 There's no... Maybe some guys, but I, I know that's not you. I know that's not me. That's not any dudes I was around where it's like, bro, you you empty the tank every time you step on the field. But yet, 
during Ohio State week, I don't even know. It's almost like spiritual where, yes, there's something beyond yeah. yourself that like raises the juice. What <laughs> practice like that week? I mean, I, I, I know I remember what it was like for me. What, what's pra- practice like? Practice is like it's like it's game day, you know, every day. Every, every day. It's like it's game day. And it's it's hard to like you want to stay calm. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to get too high. You know, you definitely don't want to get too low. You know, leading up to the game, it's kind of like taking off on an airplane. You kind of want to build up, but it's so hard, you know, because you're just ready for Saturday. You know what I'm saying? You you know what's at stake. You know what's on the table, you know. But practices are lit, as you know. Uh, everyone's turning it up a notch. Uh, it, it's great, you know. Uh, I'm super excited. You know, it's, it's definitely going to uh, be legendary. I'd be lying if I said I'm having an easy time just staying seated right now, man. <laughs> you talk, I'm like, I'm, I'm getting ready to jump out of my seat. Are they still? Are they? Are they? Uh, do they still uh, put tape on the helmet? Like, kind of make it like the the silver bullet helmet? Do the does the scout team still wear stuff like that? No, no, no. We 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 keep it winged. Uh, okay. I believe I believe they do something like that, but uh, no, okay. we we just keep it. Uh, everyone wears the same things. We yep. literally treat it just like it's you know it's another opponent. Um, yeah. But you know the energy, it, you can make you know, no mistake about it, right? Yeah, yeah. Make no mistake about it. Yeah. I wanted to ask you this, just to hit it from this angle, because you know <laughs> I just think about where you were last year. You didn't play in the game. I remember mm-hmm. I was walking down on the field pregame, and I'm seeing tears stream down your face, man. Your your knee is booted up, and and we talked about this earlier about you. You wanted to play. Coach Harbaugh had the announcement, "Play's gonna play," and everyone yeah. went, went nuts, and you gave it everything you could, but you couldn't play. Let's revisit that. What was that? What was that like when you couldn't play last year? You know, it was tough. It, w- it was tough. But you know, going into the game, you know, I had an idea in the back of my head. I'm like, man, it, this might not be good. You know, but obviously in the, in the forefront, I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna play. You know, what I'm saying, like I said, we had the brace on. You know, but after those two two first uh, those two first plays, I'm like, yeah, there's there's just no shot. Like I can't cut when I do cut it. It's weak. It's buckles. Um, you know, hey, coach, I'm not I'm not the man for the job today. Um, and, and it sucked, you know, but, you know, I had to be there for my teammates. I I was still able to, you know, be out there in a the sense of, you know, looking at the defenses, telling the guys what I saw. But, you know, emotionally in the back of my head, I'm like, man, like this is all I wanted to do was play against Ohio State. You know, and now that I made it throughout the season, I can't play in the game. You know, uh, it was definitely tough, but um, – Hey, we're here now. Yeah, we're, we're here. You know, now now I'm super excited to be able to play against Ohio State. Yeah, so like I, I'd imagine that plays into it, man. I just I I can't I can't. I mean, I just think about that game last year, the implications, the result, and I just know as a player how hard it is. Where it's like, man, of course, the overwhelming theme is the your your team got it done. So really, who cares, right? But yeah. I know there's pain, emotional pain to say, man, I would have loved to be a part of that, though you were a part of it. But like, right. I know, I know what it is. Oh, and now this year, right? Yeah, like what what was it? I mean, right? Am I am I on the right track? You're a part nah. of it, but you aren't. Yeah, no, one hundred one hundred percent. You know, you know, you're a part of. It. You know, you contributed in some way. You know, but, you know, us athletes, we want to be out there in the mix. You know what I'm saying? We want to be, you know, smacking heads, smacking homers, you know, uh, laying about blocks, scoring touchdowns, you know. So, obviously, you you know, you want to be out there and, and do that type of work. Um, but you do contribute in a way, and I feel like I did. But it was it was tough, man. You know, yeah. like you said, but we did get the job done, which that's the main, that's the main goal is winning. You know, so I, I was definitely happy for the team. But uh, I'd be lying if I said, man, it was tough not being out there. What's it mean this year? Because this is it, right? This is it, man. Period. This, this is, is it. it. Period. This this is it. This is my last. This is my last time walking down the tunnel. It's my last time. Senior night. Senior night. Two. Yeah, yeah. Senior night too. So when I my, my senior night was in Columbus. So, but my or my last game. Was in Columbus. My senior night was against Indiana. This is this is senior night in the big house. Senior, two verse three. Senior night in the big house on the biggest stage. Two verse three. You know, emotions would definitely be high. You know, just you know, it being my last time in the big house, knowing you know I gave Michigan everything I could the last four years. You know, uh, you know, just leaving my mark. Um, but you know, all journeys 
have to come to an end for another one to start, you know? So, yeah. you know, it's about my time to close off this chapter, but we're going to close it off with a bang, you know, but, uh, you know, I'm super excited that we get to end it in a bang, you know, two verse yeah. three, you know, Michigan versus Ohio State, it can't get any better. Isn't that the beautiful thing about sports though, too, is like, it's not forever. It's finite. Like, shoot, Tom Brady. I mean, I think a couple of us said, man, maybe this one is forever. Like, he might have still been able to play. <laughs> yeah. maybe, maybe it is. Right. But like, no, <laughs> exactly. Even he has an end. But yeah. but because there's an end date, you know it's precious. Mm-hmm. And it already is precious. But then it's really emphasized that it's, it's precious. And now you're facing one of those moments of preciousness. As you said, you know, for this chapter to close, for the next one to start. What has Michigan meant to you in that in that line, man? I I, I think of the word Michigan, man. I man. could write a long definition, or I could just say, "Go look at Blake Corum, man." What's what's <laughs> Michigan? What what are they? What does Michigan mean to you? You know, uh, being a Michigan man um, means everything to me. You know, just seeing, you know, where I started as a freshman to where I am now, just as like a man, just like the growth, you know, the trials and the tribulations I had to come uh, overcome, and you know, the the good, you know. You got to take the good with the bad. You know, there were just so many great times, you know, here at Michigan, and especially there's nothing better than being on a football team. You know, that just made my experience just so great. You know, uh, having forever uh, for life friends, you know what I'm saying, friends for life. Um, you know, Mi- Michigan means everything to me, you know, and hopefully one day, you know, after my career is over, maybe I can, you know, come back and maybe uh, I don't know how they rent out the boxes up top, but I, I would love to have me a box so I can come to every home game um, and just be that 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 alumni. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's meant everything to me. You know, I'm a forever, you know, uh, be a Michigan man. I'm a die Michigan man. You know, I'm just – I'm blessed to have uh, come to the University of Michigan. This does lead me a little bit off the beaten path, but I figured I'm not going to wait till the end to say this because – Hey, be, get a box. You're in the business. I mean, hopefully you're getting the box, not during your bye week, but after a, a 15 year career in the NFL, Frank Gore type career. You yeah, know, yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. That, that's the plan, right? That's but the, but the but you are into business. You are into a lot of interests. So much so that hey, we're doing a podcast right now called The Lab, presented by Champion Circle. Mm-hmm. You started your own podcast. I think that's the coolest thing about this current era of college football and college sports and sports in general and media is you you have a means to communicate. So your your podcast is called How You Do It Podcast, H Y D I. How mm-hmm. you do it? How'd you do it? Podcast. Yes, sir. H-Y-D-I dot podcast on uh, Instagram. Very easy to follow. Um, and, and per your post, right, you're talking to business people. You're talking to athletes, high performers, right? Why don't you just take a chance here real quick as we talk about yeah. being a Michigan man, talk to the Michigan fans where they can find you and listen to you. Yeah, yeah and, uh, you know, you guys can follow me, uh, like you say, H-Y-D-I dot podcast on Instagram. You know, we're dropping on YouTube, so make sure – you know, once I drop this first episode coming Monday, uh, I have a special guest. Make sure you guys subscribe, go watch on YouTube, um, and you guys can listen. So, you know, like like Jake said, you know, the How'd You Do a podcast is where I interview successful, you know, businessmen and women and many ventures of life, you know, uh, athletes, you know, just real estate, you know, you name it. I'm bringing them on and they're giving great gems, you know, uh, you know, their trials and tribulations, how they got to where they are, you know, what to do, what not to do. Um, you know, it, it's great, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm super excited um, to have been able to start a podcast where, you know, athletes like myself, you know, can listen to business people, you know, because like you said, mm-hmm. you know, football, you know, sports, they don't last forever. Sometimes, you know, you have to close off that journey and start something new up. And so why not, you know, tune in to these successful people and, and learn, you know, maybe what they did wrong. So when you go into it, you can skip that step. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I'm super excited about it. It's, it's going it's going to be big, uh, especially that, that first guest. Uh, he's a Michigan man, so you guys might want to tune into that one. Here's what I do know. Here's what I do know. You guys, you guys, you guys, you Michigan, us Michigan, you Michigan, we Michigan, we take care of our own, right? So, yeah, tune in to Blake. Show some love. Show some support. We're going to listen to a podcast now, and then what are you going to do? You want some more Michigan content? Blake told you you got a Michigan man coming. It is Michigan versus everybody anyways after all. That's it. That's it. Michigan versus everybody. (laughs) 
you t- can you can you kind of put into words as we put a cap on this senior season, man? Can you put into words what this season's been like? I I, I say this, man. I wish if I people, pe- hey, would you have one regret? Would you change one thing? I wish I kept a journal. I wish I kept a journal where I could have jotted down these little moments that come and go very quickly and get easily forgotten about. You know, my senior year. Um, because it's hard to put it into uh, put it into context. But for mm-hmm. you, your senior year, can you put it into context? What would it sound like? You know, putting my senior year into context, you know, honestly, my senior year has honestly just been full of just being where my feet were, you know, feet are still. Uh, where last year, I feel like they weren't. You know, I feel like sometimes, you know, I could zone off and maybe think about the league a little bit, you know, think about – you know, what's that, what, what that's going to be like, what teams I might go to, you know, where now I'm just, you know, just enjoying the ride, you know, enjoying being there with my teammates, enjoying each drive that we're in, enjoying each Tuesday practice, you know, and enjoying each Wednesday practice, you know, enjoying the away games, you know, uh, the flights there, you know, being with the guys, being with my teammates, uh, the laughs, you know, um, I'm, I'm enjoying that, you know, I'm embracing it all because I know it's coming to an end soon. You know, so my whole senior year, I've just been trying to honestly be where my feet are and and enjoy it, you know, uh, not too, like I said, not getting too high, not getting too low, but just taking it all in because I know it's coming to an end soon. But, you know, that's kind of sums up, you know, how I've treated, you know, my senior year. One thing that's kind of come up in our in in conversations on this show with a bunch of different guys is uh, coach Ben Herbert and I'm just kind of curious what he's meant to you personally throughout your career um, and what he kind of means to this team in general yeah you know coach uh, coach Herb is the guy you know when it comes to mentality when it comes to working hard when it comes to putting you in uncomfortable situations um, to prepare you for uncomfortable situations you know he's meant so much to this team and this team's success is it's crazy, you know, from making you jump in the cold tub and working out, you know, doing a whole workout with wet shoes on, wet clothes on, to jumping back in, you know, after to, you know, tying each other up with chains and having us carry weights around the weight room and like a figure eight, you know, if someone drops it, you know, uh, it will squeeze you, you know, just creating that bond, that teamwork, don't let your team down. Um, you know, Coach Herb has done tremendous work here uh, within, the, you know, these last couple of my four years here, you know, it's been crazy. Just to, the mentality he has, you know, uh, it's great. And, you know, last thing, you know, he's real, like, if you go to his locker, everything's an inch, inch apart. Um, you know, his attention to detail. I was talking to him, and he was telling me, like, his uh, fridge at home, like the orange juice and the milk has to be, you know, a certain distance apart. You know what I'm saying? Just like his attention to detail is crazy. You know, but uh, nah, he, he's meant a lot. Hey, the good thing is, is, uh, you know, he doesn't just tell you what to do. He lives it, right? Like the good thing is, is he, he says he better have attention to detail. We'll make note. You can you can dissect every area of his life and you better believe he's got that squared away. No, uh, 100%. So I think the fans would love to hear a little bit more about jumping into the cold tub and tying each other up with chains. If you could expand on that, maybe take us in a little bit. Uh, yeah. What that's like. you know, I, w- I would love to take you into them this. So, you know, I'll just go back to – my freshman year, um, it was a 6 a.m. lift. Uh, coach made us all get in the cold tub. Um, it was right before a break, too. Why and how did that go down? Oh, well, we, we were all in there. We came in. He blew up the whistle. He was like, everyone follow me. You know, we, we follow, follow him. He unlocks the cold tub room, and he says, everyone jump in. We're like, what? Like, what, do, what do you mean? Like, take our shoes off? No, keep your shoes on. We're like, all right, whatever. So everyone jumps in, right? And we're thinking we're just going to get right back out. No, we stayed in there. And they're talking about, you know, submerge. You know, we put our head under. All right, come up. Submerge. Got to put your head under. Come up. All right, boom. We got done with that. And then he, they had, like, these chains tied up to each other. And we had both – everyone had to get in inside of one. And there were dumbbells all around the weight room. You know, some were 50s, you know, all the way up to, like, 120s, right? And so everyone had to grab one and we had to go around the whole weight room like a, like a, like a centipede 
you know, all, everyone's connected to, to each other. And if someone dropped it, we were holding it for a long time. If someone dropped it, it would just squeeze like your waist. Not to the point like hurt too bad, but like it's like, mm, like, come on. You know what I'm saying? And that just made us like you could you couldn't drop it. If you drop it, you're gonna hurt your brother. You know, and so just that mentality, like even when it hurts, you gotta keep going. You know, that's just like two examples of how he just like carved the mind, you know what I'm saying? And you know, he's uh he's been doing things like that, you know, my whole career here. And it's it's been great. I love it. It's like, how do you like? What's a team, man? Like, everyone's technically a team, but like, what's a team? Well, that that to me, I just hear like the making of a team, like getting in the cold tub. I don't know. I, I just I have this thought in my head where it's like that cold tub probably didn't feel as cold as it normally does when you're with your brothers and you're doing it together, right? Oh, that's one hundred percent. Everyone's screaming everyone's throwing water up you know it's not as cold as you know when you get in it by yourself for sure you embraced it yeah because it was together right 100 <laughs> percent. it's amazing man that's amazing what so just to go back to the game a little bit and of course we should go back to the game always but yeah. it's it's um to me, I think back about the on-field experience, the X's and O's, and if we could just kind of strip away the layers a little bit here, you know, is the level of focus different? This, like, one, one, like, what's warm-ups like? What, what, what is it like in the locker room? What are, what are some of those little finer details? When you get off the bus, is it, is it different at all? Like, do, you, do you do anything different? What, what's all that pregame routine leading up to kick like? Yeah. You know, uh, th things are are different. You know, I, I, like I say, we try to keep everything the same, but some things you just can't help. You know what I'm saying? Like when you come into our locker room, there's no music. You know, no one's really talking to each other. Uh, it's kind of scary. You know, everyone's in their locker, maybe with their headphones on, but it's just like zoned in, you know, just like tunnel vision, thinking about what they might do. You know, like no one's talking whatsoever thinking about the plays they're going to make, you know, like it's scary. It's, it's mute in there. No one, no, like no one's talking. So that's one thing. When you get off the bus and when you're going to that locker room, you're not going to hear a peep, you know, just because everyone's locked in, you know, and then when you, when you go down, you know, uh, the tunnel, for me, it feels like everything just stops, you know, uh, where, you know, some other games, you know, I'm high-fiving everyone, you know, let's go screaming, you know, just getting pumped up, that, letting that adrenaline go. For some reason, you know, this game, like, everything just stops. You know, can't hear nothing. You know, like I said, it's literally like tunnel vision, and it's great. You know, I, I absolutely love it. You know, so uh, some things do change, you know, for this game, uh, even though we try to, you know, make make sure everything's the same, but uh, can't help some things. Man, you, you that's the subtle thing, I think, that gets lost where the in this game, like, as – loud as it may get it's almost silent i, I don't <laughs> I, I don't know really how to describe it other than maybe, maybe you're just so hyper focused mm -hmm. like you can almost hear your feet like you made that jump cut uh when you guys played on the road against penn state you made that jump cut i can almost hear your feet go bang plant and then bang bounce cool. out to your leg. like you can hear the sound of those it real subtle things right yeah, and, and people think it's crazy. They're like, what? You can't, you can't hear, and like, you can't hear the crowd. You can't hear everyone screaming. I'm like, no, I, I honestly can't. <clears throat> like, I'm so locked in, so focused on my assignment that like, I can't hear a peep. You know, my coach could be screaming, "Cat, cat!" You know, trying to tell me to blitz, and it's like, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. You should see it though. You should have yeah, seen it anyways. I, I, if the I know, I, I know, I know he's coming. I, I got him. I, yeah, yeah. Know, but I'm so locked in. I, I can't hear. What's uh? Is there much back and forth between Ohio State? Is there? You know, I found but when we played Michigan State, there was there was certainly a, a nice dialogue going, if you if you might call it that. But between Ohio State, I feel like there wasn't much yeah. back I'm, and forth, which is I'm crazy. With you. I'm with yeah. you. I feel like Michigan State definitely. Uh, you know, definitely talk. Um, Penn State, there was talk. There was talk, Penn State. Uh, but, you know, Ohio State, I think it's just mutual respect. You know, both great teams, you know, just going at it. Um, yeah, there's, there's not much talk. I think everyone is kind of just focused. You know, there's not enough time to talk, you know. 
when you res- I think what gets lost there is like when you respect somebody at the level that I think Ohio State and Michigan respect each other, the intensity reaches a level it couldn't without the respect. Like I, you know, like I'm trying to think. Uh, you know, maybe it's like if you uh, you're a kid and like you're you're trying to like compete with your dad in basketball or something like that. You know, right, like, right. you're never gonna talk back to your dad, but then like <laughs> one day when you're when it's that point where you're old enough and maybe he's old enough, it's like all right, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna get you today. Yeah, you're going hard. You know what I mean? And he's right, going right. hard. Like he doesn't want to let it go. And it's that back and forth where it's like, okay, there's big time respect. I don't need to talk. But yeah. I want to beat you today. You better believe mm-hmm. it. Yeah, that, that's a that's a perfect example. You know, that was a great that was that was a great example. I've been there. You know, what I'm saying <laughs> with my pops. But yeah, you know, it's we both want to beat each other so bad. You know, I I don't think there's enough time to talk. I don't even think it comes to your head like, yeah, I'm gonna talk trash to them. You know, because we want to beat each other so bad. We're not thinking about trash talking. You know, we're thinking about winning that rep. We're thinking about you know, maybe the next play, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're not thinking about, you know, saying something maybe disrespectful to one another. Right. You know, that's not what this game is about. This is the game. Yeah. You know they're a damn good football team anyways, right? Like, there's not much to be disrespectful about, right? You know they're a damn good football team anyways. 100%. Yeah, yeah. You know, what's uh as we wind it down here, man, it's Ohio State week, gotta let you bounce. So um, you know, what's one thing because I know we talked in the the offseason that this team has continually said they felt they can do it. They felt they, you know, this team has felt they can go back and, and win another matchup versus Ohio State and, and go to the Big Ten championship and win a national title. In what ways do you think this team has exceeded some of your preseason expectations? You know, I feel like, you know, at the beginning of the season, you know, I knew we were good, right? I I, I knew we were good, you know, but I honestly, I, I couldn't tell you how good we actually were. And then, you know, stuff started happening, right? That's when it started feeling like it was Michigan versus everybody, you know? And then I'm like, okay, let, let, let's let see. Let's see how good this team handles a little bit of adversity or handles, you know, maybe feeling like everyone's against us, you know? And then last week, you know, Coach Harbaugh, or two weeks ago, I'm sorry, Coach Harbaugh, um, you know, got suspended, you know, and I'm like, okay, let's see, let's see how we handle going into, you know, Happy Valley, you know, and, and we, they, my teammates exceeded every expectation, you know, I could have ever imagined, you know what I'm saying? So this team right here, you know, it, it has what it takes, you know, just the mentality, you know, the focus, you know, the the love for one another, the the willpower and just the want to, you know, look to the right and look to the left and just go to war with your brother. Like this, this team has what it takes, you know, but as long as we just stay mentally locked in uh, to our assignments and, uh, and our opponents, you know, and just be where our feet are, you know, I, I think the sky's the limit. I think we do have a shot at, uh, you know, reaching our goal, you know? Yeah. Amen, man. Well, <laughs> We'll find out here soon, soon enough, and I can't yeah, wait right. to watch. Uh, listen, I, as we wind down, I just got two more things. I know you do some. Uh, you are you doing the turkey giveaway this year? The turkey drive? Oh, one hundred percent. It's actually uh, Sunday, the nineteenth. Um, we're doing six hundred turkeys this year. Uh, so we we went up. We went up, went up every year. You know, so Great. I'm super excited to get out into the community um, and just you know see smiles, see faces. Uh, laugh, you know, and just have a good time. And, you know, I, I see uh, you started some, you know, yourself. So I think I think what you're doing, uh, could you could you tell me what it was called one more time, the website? Yeah. So it's the same thing, bro. Man, man me, yeah, I, I literally told you, I was like, look, I was like, man, Blake, like, this is good stuff. I got to find a way to do this. But the, this to me, so I work now with uh, a guy that goes to Ohio State. And uh, so we, with the, it's the spirit of the competition, Ohio mm-hmm. State versus Michigan. Yeah. It's called the game gives back. So really, we're just going to take you know the Buckeye versus Michigan uh, Wolverine blood drive, where it's like back and forth, back and forth. We're doing that. What we were able to do is partner with the Boys and Girls Club of Southeastern Michigan and the Boys and Girls Club of Central Ohio, and basically, it's like one hundred percent of proceeds are are. There's no salaries, no marketing fee, no profit. One hundred percent of proceeds that get donated are going back to the families in need. So not just the youth, like the boys and girls club, 
they've been finding ways they want to impact the families. So we're, we're, we will be feeding the families and taking care of basic necessities around the holiday season. Um, and it's an Ohio State versus Michigan thing. So I don't want to I don't want to speak for others, but like we have some big names that I think by the time this gets released, um, people will see that this is going to be a big movement. And just like you, man, hopefully we're going to level up each year because I think the coolest thing is, is like, man, everything we just said, it matters, but it also doesn't matter. Like, does it matter to someone if they feel like they don't know where their next meal is going to come from? Like, no, no. Right. So, so the good thing is, is we can show as a, as a Michigan fan base, you know, that we recognize that um, and give back. And, you know, that's, We'll be following. I'm, I'm sure you're going to be going even bigger and bigger in your NFL career. My goal in year one is to follow your path and do the same. Mine's called the game gives back dot com. Mm -hmm. Literally couldn't be easier. The game gives back heard dot it. com. And let's uh, compete. What, let's compete. Where can they follow yours? What's where can they follow you at uh, for your giveaways? You know, uh, for, for mine, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily have a website, but feel free. Click the link in my bio, uh, shoot an email or just hit a Valiant. You know, if Perfect. you hit a Valiant, uh, Valiant will you know, reach out to me and, and we can, we can uh, make things happen. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we had the turkeys coming up on uh, November 19th and uh, my first ever toy drive uh, December 9th at Somerset mall. So, you know, we're, we're trying to give back to the community as much as we can. You know, I'm super excited about my Turkey drive third annual. And then uh, my first ever uh, toy drive, like I said, December 9th at Somerset mall, it's going, it's going to be great. What else? What else? Why, why have a platform? I think about the word like influencer, what right. does that really mean, man? Like, what? Tell you what, like, it, it can mean a lot of great things if we let it. So you're doing a great job, but I'm trying to follow in your lead, and I'm excited to see where this shakes out. No, I appreciate it. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, thanks so much for your time. Get back, get take care of the body, get some rest. Excited to, uh, you know, excited, man. Senior night. Her, yeah, your whole family's going to be there? Dad's yeah, going to be there? Everybody? Uh, whole, whole family. Whole family. Uh, mom, dad, sisters, girlfriend. You know, everyone's going to be there for the for the last game. Uh, got got to go out the bank. Enjoy it, man. I mean, do what you want to do, but I, I'm telling you, I wish I had. I wish I had written down on a piece of paper how I felt right before we left the locker room and how I felt after. Man, it would have been a cool experience. But you're going to do a great job, and I uh, can't wait to watch you guys play. Thanks so much for your time, man, guys. Seriously, please go check out. H Y D I dot podcast on Instagram at Blake's new show. And uh, I'm sure you'll be breaking down the game. As you mentioned, a bunch of special guests coming and uh, November 25th at 12 PM Eastern. Did you need me to say that? You know where to go. This has been the lab by champion circle U of M presented by champion circle U of M.com. Thank you guys.